And like that, Cowboy James Storm says his goodbyes to Impact Wrestling. This is BQ when I do this for the Impact Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake. And I've told you guys to prepare for this. That my gut feeling is that this was something that was happening. And it has happened. Hit subscribe if it's your first time here on the channel. James Storm officially done with Impact Wrestling. I don't discuss rumors and spoil. I mean, I discuss rumors. I don't discuss spoilers on the channel. Sometimes people leave them, in, leave them in the comments and I have to delete them. Unfortunately, I see them first, which upsets me. So, But I don't discuss spoilers. I'm not going to say how he went out. All I'll say was, you know, I pretty much called it about a year ago, actually, if I was if I was booking it, how I would have done it. I don't know um, anything about the other wrestlers involved or anything like that. James Storm said his goodbye at the Impact Wrestling tapings. I'm hoping that this goodbye is is shown on TV, you know, but we know that Impact heavily edits a lot of the uh, a lot of those kind of moments, you know, there's been times I've been there where stuff has happened there in the impact zone that I thought was really natural and good, but they cut it out. They don't let us bask in a whole lot. But James Storm gone from the company. First of all, my personal experience with James Storm in March, we were my family and I, we were his personal guests at Impact Wrestling. He was very kind to my wife, to my kids. You know, he gave us some uh, merch that I ordered from him, but he he gave us some extra too. And he was he was he was awesome. He was great. And again, he was kind. And I will forever appreciate James Storm from the memories he he uh, he gave my my family. My kids call him Uncle James. That's how they refer to him. You know, it's just kind of a joke in our family. And uh, you know, the reason that all happened was because of Slam Anniversary last year. We were doing the meet and greet, and uh, we were next in line for James Storm, and he went backstage, and my son was was kind of devastated because he didn't get to meet him. And um, James Storm, you know, kind of went out of his way a year, almost a year later, to to make sure that we we got some one on one time with him backstage, and you know that was amazing. I don't know what the next step is for James Storm. I would imagine he's going to go back to NXT. And if he does, that's fine. He has done everything he could do in Impact Wrestling. His world title run was crap. We all know that. But I've always felt that he was a lot more talented than Bobby Roode. You know, maybe he didn't have the look like Bobby Roode does. And maybe he doesn't have the entrance and the robes and everything. But as a wrestler and especially as a talker, I always felt James Storm was a lot better than Bobby Roode. I don't watch NXT. Even when I stopped watching WWE, I did watch NXT for a little while because I like the developmental version of it. I don't like the signing people from other promotions and indies and stuff now. Like, I don't, that doesn't do anything for me. Like, I'll watch Ring of Honor if I want to see all that. But, um, you know, he probably should go there. He deserves to be on that platform. He's, he's, he made a lot of money with Impact Wrestling. And there were some people on Twitter, you know, I'm not knocking like it was tens and hundreds of people. It was a couple people on Twitter trying to discredit me, discredit what I do for this channel, that I'm a closet impact hater, that I believe the lies when I had talked about the possibilities of James Storm leaving the company. Maybe I know what the hell I'm talking about. James Storm made a lot of money. It was rumored he was on a salary contract of a quarter million dollars a year. You knew Anthem was not going to renew that deal. Doesn't mean they didn't want him. But they probably would have asked him to take a significant pay cut. And to pay him for per appearance at this point. Especially when what the hell is he even going to do with the company? Lots of new faces. Lots of young faces. It's a new company. It's a new era. So this was something that I, I think the writing was on the wall. And I hope many of you were prepared for it. Because it's, it's a sad day for us. Because he was beloved. He was one of the favorites. But I hope many of you prepared for this because common sense says if you're going to get rid of Marche Rocket and MJ Jenkins and Reno Scum, you're probably not going to sign, re-sign James Storm to a monster contract. It's not to say they don't have the money to sign people, but they're in a place now where they have to establish a new identity and we're going to see a lot of new faces. The new face that I heard showed up at the tapings 
pretty big, but I'm not going to talk about that. So thank you, James Storm. And um, if NXT is a route he goes, I hope everybody supports that, whether you watch it or not. I may well have seen my last James Storm match unless he um, does some indie work locally. I drove about an hour and 15 minutes earlier in the year to catch him at an indie show. He did a benefit concert for some hurricane victims here in Southern Illinois. And um, yeah, I may have seen my last James Storm match, but you know, he, he gave a lot of good memories. I wish he would have been in the main event scene for Bound for Glory. I think that would have been very appropriate instead of Johnny Impact. He didn't have to win, but I think it would have been appropriate. But you guys remember, they've made the mistake in the past, the last couple of years, the Hardys, Drew Galloway, Eric Young, Bobby Roode, all people who were holding titles at the times their contracts expired or were not renewed. And how ridiculous do they look? They're not going to make that mistake again. So that's something you guys got to keep an eye on. Remember, we didn't know what they were doing with Mike Bennett, why he was jobbing so much. Well, he used the company and he left. And they knew he was potentially leaving because he didn't resign yet. So they weren't going to put James Storm in the main event scene. I would keep an eye on Eddie Edwards, EC3 going forward and how they are booked. They are younger than James Storm. So to, you know, to say they could let them leave, I could see it. But at the same time, they're younger. And you got to have some kind of star power remain with the company. And I could see them maybe opening up the wallets a little bit more for these guys. But I would still keep an eye on those guys going forward. But this is a new company, guys. We asked for new owners. We asked for, for them to get out of the impact zone. This is what happens. This is what comes with it. So we can't complain. This is BQ. Hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here on the channel. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.